I spent the last three days programming. Um, well, I, I mean, I th there was a point in my software where I had this thing to write, where I had to make this software talk to that software and make this computer talk to that computer. And it, it was just such a – I mean I, I had to lay everything all out all across my computer. I had to get all my files open and arrange – I didn't turn off my computer for three days. Um, well, George, I know that it's going to seem boring to a lot of them talk, but – well, no, there's a lot to this. I mean, I mean most of us use software, right? You know, you ever have problems on your phone? You ever have problems with the internet not working? You ever have problems with your computer crashing? Yeah, I know why it happens. Because as I'm going through this, and I'm very tired, I'm very exhausted. I, I don't like doing this. I don't like going on these marathons. But it's like, it's like I've got a baby. It's like I'm pregnant with this thing, this project that's in me, and I cannot. I mean, it'd be best if I just couldn't sleep, it'd be, it'd, it'd, if, I, if I didn't have to. Just, just go until I'm finished because it's all there in my head. And I don't want to lose concentration. Well, you, you know how those projects are. You got it all in your head and you can't just go do a little bit piecemeal at a time. You really have to spread the whole thing out and do it while you're thinking about it. Well, anyhow, I just had one of those marathons. Uh, well, they're not bad, but I'd, I'd rather them. Well, no, it's about time. I've been needing to do this for months and months and months, and I finally got the three days to be able to do it. Because you know, every and you have no idea how many little phone calls I got from people. You're like, can you help me with this? I've got to quit. Do you have a minute to talk? I, no, I'm turning off my phone and everything else. Of course, I had fun with that on Facebook. I don't talk to me. No one, not anyone. If everybody, oh, I'm talking to you. Oh, you know how that. But it taught me a few things about the developer world. Really, it was an eye-opening experience. Trying to communicate with other developers is impossible. Well, I mean, you, you think about it. Well, I, I'll tell you something. C language uh, and other things that seem to be dependent on it. Um. Well, I, I don't know. I don't want to vill villainize C language, but there are some very basic programming languages. And of course, they're supported by a company. There'll be a company that will make this language, you know, and then others will depend on that. And when the big company makes the change, everybody else gets messed up. Um, well, it, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it's like the building contractor, you know, the painter who can't paint your house because the paint company made a new paint that doesn't work with those paintbrushes anymore. And, and so now your house gets delayed. And so you can't move into your house as soon. And so now you've got to deal with that other company. That other company has been waiting for you. And just, it just one thing leads to another because one guy makes an unnecessary change. And, and it's full of, and, 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 when these things happen, are the programmers nice about it? Oh, no, 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 no. No, not at all. They're mean. Those idiots. I mean, if you ask any computer programmer, I'm talking with my hand smacking into things again. If you talk to any of those programmers, they will tell you that everyone is stupid except them. Yeah, well, that's dumb. I am the only one smart in the universe. Anyhow, I just thought I'd, I'd vent. Uh, well, that's what's going on. That's what happens in the coding programming world. And I'm trying to do a good job. I'm trying to make my software. And Verk got a total makeover this week, too, by the way. Uh, again. So, you know, Verk is getting more and more stable. I, I've tested it with several different desktop environments. I mean, go install, go to verb.inc. Click on the YouTube uh, icon, follow the tutorials, install GNOME, LTS is really great, the 16.04, uh, and, and then follow the script and install Verk. 
and it'll set up your desktop, it'll install useful software, and there's your programming environment. There's your Windows environment, there's your desktop, there's, it, it's set up for you. Your machine is set up. And, and I've been working to make it a smooth, even, nice, neat little thing. Now, there's something, there's something that I want to talk about. Try to follow me with on this. Developers aren't designers. Or are they? Most art and writing apps, like the drawing programs, I mean, they're written by computer programmers, not artists or writers. So the options, they don't always fit. My Paint and GIMP are awesome exceptions. If you've ever used them, you should. And there are others. But I can't say the same for many desktop environments or WordPress or Markdown. Now, I see, I write stuff with WordPress, and this is a problem. WordPress has decided that you're not allowed to justify your text. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a word processing writer publisher. Thing. And justify? Why would you do that? Markdown. Markdown is another language. That and it it it's um it's it's for like typing notes. It's called Markdown. You can look it up. They use brackets. You know, like it's like the square parentheses thing. They use that as a code. Like it's when you put the brackets in WordPress or in Markdown, they change into something else because that's code. What? what but brackets actually mean something in English. It's it's where you insert a word like a mean like when when you're quoting someone and you need to insert a meaning of his idea but he didn't actually say it you use brackets. But WordPress has changed brackets into meaning code, and and so has Markdown. So you're not allowed to use those in a word publishing thing in a writing software. That's because. The software isn't written by writers. Writing software is not written by writers. And if a writer goes to the people that write the writing software, the soft the writing software writers will tell the writers, idiot, you're stupid. Don't you know that's wrong? And that's what's writing the software in the world. Look, the two plugins showed up to modify WordPress back so that you could use the, the, the justify text. And that's just one problem. Desktop environments are another thing. They're either buggy or they're strange. Um, when Mark Shuttleworth had an awesome idea for a desktop, he didn't have enough money to make it work. So he canned Unity 8, and now that's being run by BP ports, which or UB ports. Excuse me. Why do I always call it BP ports? UB ports. Go check it out. It's really cool. I, t- just the computer coders and the talent don't work together. And everyone's got his own little idea. And, and that's the same reason Christians don't make anything good. Um, you know, the guy, the guy that wants to make the Christian video game, he also wants to write the story for it. It's a problem coders have. You know, on that note, I think I'm going to get to the point. Coders generally have their own styles and preferences that artists don't understand. So who is supposed to write art software? Coders actually write it. Artists actually use it. Coders don't get along with artists or each other. One guy changes his software. Coders who use it spend more time learning his changes than improving their own software. 5% more cooperation would eliminate 95% of software glitches. But coders don't cooperate with anyone. Christians fight more and produce even less. Cooperation is such a struggle in coding. If Christian amateur computer programmers just got along... They could revolutionize the software industry overnight. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.